bright beauty every student matters let us come to the exercise here draw different pairs of circles how many points does each pair have in common what is the maximum number of common points we have discussed about the number of common points or number of points of intersection in case of two different lines now we will discuss about two different circles so what can be the cases let us say this is one circle and this is another circle so this can be one case there can be another case where let us say this is one circle and this is another circle okay and there can be a third case where they will intersect each other so if two different circles intersect each other this can be the scenario okay now can there be a fourth scenario let us first discuss these three how many common points are there in case one no common point or zero common points right how many common points are there in case number two there is only one common point this is the case where two circles touch each other okay now the circles when they intersect each other there will be two common points okay now some student may argue that sir if let us say this is one circle and using let us say this part of the arc we draw another circle like this and there is this common arc then let me remind you this is not possible okay you can draw this with your free hand but it is not possible in geometry right because this these two different circles cannot have this common arc here because if you take this arc outside and take three points and try to find the center or try to complete this circle you will find only one center here and you will have a unique circle that has got this arc so you cannot have two circles having the same portion that is overlapped portion okay yeah two circles can overlap completely but these are not two different circles right if this there are two circles that overlap each other completely these are essentially the same circle this is we are talking about the same circle right or or the circle with same radii they can overlap each other these are congruent circles but if we have got two different circles we can have maximum two common points or maximum two points of intersection suppose you are given a circle give a construction to find its center this should be clear to you by now that if we have got a circle let us say this is the circle and if we are looking for its center how can we find its center geometrically we can take any three points on this circle let us say these three points i take on the circle if i join these points let me name this if i join ab and i join bc right so the first step is to take any three points on the given circle okay join these points so as to make two chords right two different chords for example ab and bc third point is that if i take perpendicular bisector of ab and perpendicular bisector of bc they will intersect at a point which will be equidistant from a b and c and that will be the center of the circle so if i take perpendicular bisector of ab and if i draw perpendicular bisector of bc then this point of intersection will be the center of this circle so the third point is draw perpendicular bisectors of chords ab and bc the point of intersection of
of these perpendicular bisectors is the center of the circle. All right. So this is the center of the circle. Okay. If two circles intersect at two points, prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord. So this is the case that I am considering here. These are two circles intersecting each other at two points. Let us say these points are A and B. Okay. And the center of this circle is O and center of this circle is O dash. Okay. So if two circles intersect at two points, these points are A and B, prove that their centers lie on the perpendicular bisectors of the perpendicular bisector of the common code. So what is the common code? Code AB is there in both the circles. So it is the common code. AB is the common code. Right. So the question is essentially if I join O and O dash, O O dash is the perpendicular bisector of code AB. This is the question. Okay. So I need to see that this angle is 90 degrees. And I also have to see that AM is equal to MB. So I need to see that angle AMO is equal to 90 degrees and AM is equal to BM. Right. So if we have a knowledge of the triangles chapter, this question will be easy for us. Okay. Let us see how we can do this question. Okay, so let us start. If I join OA, A O dash, O dash B, and OB, I'll get two triangles. I am considering these two triangles in triangle A O O dash and B O O dash. What can you say about OA and OB? These are equal radii of same circle. Can you say the same about AO dash and BO dash? Yes. Same goes with AO dash and BO dash also. And OO dash is a common side in both the triangles that I have considered. Common side. So, triangle AOO dash is congruent to triangle BOO dash by side 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 congruence criterion. Right? So, these two triangles are congruent. Hence, the corresponding parts of congruent triangles will be equal. Let me show you the corresponding parts here itself that this angle will be equal to this angle. If this is theta, this angle will also be theta, right? Because this is opposite AO dash and this angle is opposite BO dash and AO dash and BO dash are equal. So these angles are also equal. Similarly, I can say about these two angles also. If this angle is alpha, this angle will also be alpha. These two angles are also equal by CPCT, okay? Now I will not go into the details what I mean is I will not write it in detail. Let me proceed to the other two triangles, which is triangle AMO and triangle BMO. In triangle AMO and triangle BMO. If you notice these two triangle AMO and BMO, this side is equal to this side because these are radii of the same circle. OM is the common side and now see included angle is also equal. So by side angle side, you can say these two triangles are congruent. So I hope you have got the idea by now. AO is equal to BO. A 
ओ एम इज इक्वल टू ओ एम दिस इज बिकॉज दीज आर रेडिया दिस इज बिकॉज दिस इज कॉमन साइड एंड एंगल्स बिट एंगल्स इंक्लूडेड आर इक्वल थीटा इज इक्वल टू थीटा लेट मी राइट अदरवाइज यू शुड राइट द कंप्लीट नेम ऑफ द एंगल ओके प्रूव्ड अबव और बाय सी पी सी टी इन ट्राइंगल्स ए ओ ओ डैश एंड बी ओ ओ डैश दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू राइट इट सो बाय साइड एंगल साइड कॉन्ग्रुएंस रूल ट्राइंगल ए एम ओ इज कॉन्ग्रुएंट टू ट्राइंगल बी एम ओ नाउ लुक एट दिस दीज टू ट्राइंगल्स आर कॉन्ग्रुएंट ओके सो बाय सी पी सी टी आई कैन से दिस एंगल इज इक्वल टू दिस एंगल दैट इज इफ दिस इज एंगल वन दिस इज एंगल टू एंगल वन इज इक्वल टू एंगल टू वट वट एल्स डू वी नो अबाउट एंगल वन एंड एंगल टू दीज आर लीनियर पेयर सो सम ऑफ दीज इज इक्वल टू वन एट्टी हेंस आई कैन से एंगल वन इज इक्वल टू एंगल टू इज इक्वल टू नाइन्टी डिग्रीज सो द फर्स्ट पार्ट इज प्रूव दैट दिस एंगल हेयर इज नाइन्टी डिग्रीज सेकेंड थिंग दैट आई नीड टू प्रूव इज दैट ए एम इज इक्वल टू एम बी दैट इज ऑल्सो ऑब्वियस बिकॉज ऑफ सी पी सी टी ए एम इज इक्वल टू बी एम बाय सी पी सी टी सो हेयर आई एव प्रूव दैट दीज टू सेगमेंट्स आर इक्वल एंड दिस एंगल इज नाइंटी डिग्रीज सो लाइन ज्वाइनिंग द सेंटर्स or their centers lie on the perpendicular bisector of the common chord right so what i did is i joined the centers okay and proved that it bisects the common chord and this is perpendicular here okay right so vice versa is also true 